Today's video is brought to you by the letters N, F, and T. For most of you, this probably stands for not feeling this, or maybe a slightly more vulgar adjective. This especially might sound like bad news when you hear about what Dan Hauser's up to now in his latest venture. Word first got out about this when it was announced that Dan Hauser has a new position as an advisor to a group called Revolving Games, which does blockchain mobile games. They're working on a Battlestar Galactica strategy game, and I know nothing about Battlestar Galactica, so that alone doesn't interest me. But it could have been a blockchain strategy game about a show that I actually like, and I still wouldn't play it, because it's a blockchain strategy game. I feel like I'd rather spend my time doing other stuff, even if it's playing other types of games. So why am I talking about this? Well, it is news on what the writer of GTA and Red Dead has been up to, and because I think it's important to show exactly what he appears to be doing now that he's no longer at Rockstar. Remember last year how he started up a brand new company called Absurd Ventures in Gaming? I always thought the name sounded more to me like it was going to be less of a video game development studio and more of a venture capital firm. Something that doesn't actually make games, but instead provides funding to developers that show signs of potentially strong growth. And wouldn't you know it, according to VentureBeat, besides being an advisor, Hauser also provided them with a presumably hefty amount of funding. Now, I love Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption as much as the next Rockstar fanboy, but I wouldn't hold my breath on us getting any new games written by him anytime soon. Especially with how there are people out there who would love to see a competitor to GTA, myself included, but obviously that's not what he's involved in. Just like how Everywhere by Leslie Benzies appears to be some kind of multiverse sci-fi game or something. Not another GTA, much to the disappointment of several people who were still expecting that, evidently. As much as many fans probably wanted to see Hauser pull a Hideo Kojima and start up his own studio to make the games that he wants, I don't think we're going to see that happen. I'd love to be proven wrong on that, but so far I get the impression that he's more about funding and consulting now. And of course, the first major thing we find out about him funding turns out to be mobile NFT strategy games. I think it's pretty much about the money. Whatever's going to have a promising return on investment is what they're going to go for. Even though Ubisoft even backed away from NFTs, but I guess the mobile market is a whole nother ball game. But for those of us who prefer our tokens to be very much fungible, I think we can just continue to be nostalgic about this guy's past as a game developer. As always, whatever your thoughts are on this, let me know. Thank you for watching.